Hi, welcome to my video on Solomon CEO Code 5. I know I'm successful when. This is my review, the training, and I wanted to introduce my husband Chris. I'm Amy Neely and this is Chris. He is part of my dream come true, so I wanted to include him on this video. And this video is based off Proverbs 13.12. Proverbs 13.12 says, Hope in the distance makes the heart sick, but the longings fulfilled is a it's a, it's a tree of life. So the hope in the distance making the heart sick, that kind of talks about or implies that when we're not reaching our goals or they're too far off, it makes the heart sick. It makes anxiety. It has actually physical symptoms that can make you achy or fatigued or tired. It's just that feeling that you're not living life to your potential. You're not doing your calling. And even if you deny your dreams, that's going to make your heart even more sick because denial is putting those dreams way off in the future and they're still there just because you um, bury them or just want to settle for what you have doesn't mean that those longings disappear. They're still in your heart and pushing them too far off in the distance um, makes the heart sick and can make your body sick as well. You have to excuse us if the camera's shaking. That's our infant uh, sitting beside the table where the camera's sitting. Uh, the second part talks about tree of life. I would say that the tree of life is basically describing a sustaining nature, uh, something that's going to give you uh, forbearing fruit for years to come and throughout your life. Uh, well, most of the time when you uh, think about food, grain, or anything that you have to re-sow every year, you have to plant it again and again uh, and hope for a, uh, a good harvest or a good rain. Uh, but the tree is a little different. Uh, for the most part, unless it's infested with insects or anything like that, it kind of keeps growing and gets actually in the you know, middle part of its uh, life. Uh, every year it um, keeps bearing more and more fruit uh, as you, if you take care of it. And uh, so, I mean, it's if you, if you do... Uh, uh, satisfy your longings uh, and you keep you know keep those uh, longings fulfilled this tree will continue to grow take root in your life and uh, sustain you throughout your life and uh, you'll be you will be well nourished and satisfied in everything that you in your thoughts and you know, in uh, your soul uh, so that's kind of the way I think feel about it as far as what what it means by the tree of life and my big takeaway from this lesson was actually the practical exercise where we filled in, I will be successful when, and so in every category, I'll be successful when in the morning routines, in my career, in relationships, and as a parent, um, in your environment. So filling all these things in and really thinking about them on a deeper level than just Oh, I'll be successful when I reach this weight or when I reach this amount of money. Those are just like an end goal, but the actual feelings and um, steps and mindsets before you get to the end goal are the real success. And a lot of those are already here in my life. So that was a big um, revelation to me that you don't have to feel failure because you're not at the end point. There is a success already in every day in our lives and to celebrate those little moments and show gratitude for the things that we've already achieved and that will help propel you towards the bigger goal as well. When you're trusted with a little then you get more and more. Um, you want to add anything? And a lot what? of the exercises I had to ask Chris too to be like just kind of that dreaming and the fun part of like okay well what would this be like in your life. So share this with your partner and the people that you share your life with, what what they picture for success. I don't know. I guess in coaching and teaching, working with kids, I, uh, and even uh, working with adults, you want to, I did learn early on that you want to celebrate success. Uh, you want uh, to hear something along the way, even though, let's say during a, a sports season, your, uh, your ultimate goal may be to win a championship, a division, uh, but uh, even every week as it goes along, even every practice, uh, every session during that practice, you want to hear uh, some positive feedback. You may, there may be some uh, things that you need to work on or improve on, but you want to also 
uh, hear some successful uh, comments or comments that mean you've, you're getting success or you're getting better. Uh, you want to hear that from your coach or from your peers. And so uh, I can understand, you know, you, you want to celebrate successes, and that's kind of what I think Amy's talking about. You know, when you get a small success, you want to celebrate it. Uh, and if um, you already you already are successful in certain areas, uh, at least a little bit successful in certain areas, uh, you want to you want somebody to trumpet that. You want somebody, or at least realize it. And it's also good to realize your own successes. And uh, you may not be complacent with where you're at. I think that's what Amy's saying. You know, kind of, you know, we've got areas that we're probably already successful in. We may not realize as much as we probably should. And we want to be thankful, but we don't want to be complacent. And I think that's where Amy really doing this whole uh, training exercise and this whole series. Uh, she's not complacent. She wants, she wants something more. She sees out something more out there, and that's kind of she has a longing to uh, uh, to gain more knowledge, to uh, be more successful in her personal life and uh, in her in developing a business life. And uh, I commend her for it. And uh, I guess I could always be a little more supportive uh, and uh, being more sharing with my thoughts on some of this stuff. Uh, I would like to say, I have one thing I'd like to raise my hand because I, I always hear somebody on there, those, uh, tel those um, uh, telecasts that she's doing that y'all do, raise your hand. And I, I always, I'm in the background raising my hand. I didn't know it's actually... The little button you're supposed to push to raise your hand. So never been on a webinar. I'm, I'm raising my hand. <laughs> well, thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you found um, something to take with you on your journey to success. And I'd love to connect with you further. Please click the link below to see me on my blog. And I will see you on the next video. Have a great night.